Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Promise Triplet. So we're going to do this dead bride look for Halloween. I'm using my ColourPop concealer uh, to get my eyeshadow to stick to my eyelids a little bit better. Because without it, it wouldn't look that good. So yeah. Next, I am moving on into my eyeshadow palette using a black eyeshadow from my Juvia Place eyeshadow palette. And I'm just smudging it all in. You can, you could have did a smoky look, but I wanted to make the eyes very, very, very dark. And I did this look before when I was in high school uh, for our homecoming costume thing. And I wanted to redo it again. And I have very dark eyes, dark lips. But I did change it up a little bit for this video. There's the palette I'm showing you. So, I just kept using different blacks I had to darken up. So now I'm using my Revlon Black uh, Revlon palette, black eyeshadow to just keep darkening it up. The darker you get, the the darker the eyes will be is basically what I was trying to conceive with this but then I just realized it just looked like grayness on my eyes so and later in the clips you'll see I end up doing something so I add um eyeliner because I did wear eyeliner back when I did this look back in high school so I was like oh let me just give me a little winged eyeliner and then I hated it because it just didn't look good Alright, after cleaning up my eyes a little bit because it was just getting all the place, I used my uh, Beauty Bakery foundation to use as my foundation, basically. Um, it looks very light on camera, but again, I don't know what's up with all the foundations I have bought recently, why they look very light on me on camera, but in person, they look very natural, skin tone matches perfectly and maybe it's my lighting that's washing me out I don't know let me know what y'all know what y'all think I should do to improve that because I'm still working on lighting and I practice as best as I can but as you can see I look washed out I'm going back in with my ColourPop concealer and I'm just concealing under my eyes again. I want to give the eyeshadow where I'm going to put it down there something to grab on, hold on. And I did put some eye powder um, to set the concealer because I didn't want the concealer to run and make a crease with the eyeshadow. So I did set my concealer and then I put eyeshadow on top of it. I know I did a lot, but I did. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to crease. So this is me setting it. Here you see me struggling because I wanted to open my Revlon um, face powder, but it wasn't opening. So I was like, maybe I should use my Elf. And then I used it, but then I was like, nah, I want my Revlon because that gives me the best hold and all around setting spray. So I was really, really struggling trying to open it, and it wouldn't open. So, yeah. <laughs> but I finally got it open, y'all. <laughs> So now I'm just putting my rub on all over my face, making just making sure my face is set because, again, I am going to be putting eyeshadow on my face, but I don't want it to crease up, so I have to set it. 
Now I was like, forget it. The black wasn't giving me the black the eyeshadow, so I ended up going in with my eyeliner. Now, um, I do suggest that you should let your eyeliner set because if you don't, you get that little crease bump like that. I got it. Like, it was coming off, and so now I have to like kind of build it a bit back. But I didn't really do a good job building it and putting it back like I should have. So, yeah. But it still looked good, though. So, it ain't no problem. And then I decided to put a little black on the side just to extenuate. Didn't do very symmetrically. Didn't want that. Now I'm using my Juvia's, a different Juvia's palette where my, I'm using the red eyeshadow to give me like the bloody look. And again, this shadow was very light on me and it wasn't really picking up. So as you will see, I started building on top. And that's really what you gotta end up doing is just build and build and build and build. I went back in my Revlon palette, I used the red in there, and it, I wanted to build, and it did build very good on top of the Juvia Red. Only thing is, if you want it to be like more gushy, more bloody looking, you need to get fake blood. I don't like fake blood because fake blood gets everywhere, so I use shadows, and that's my preference that's my technique i like to use shadows and i like to build but if you want to do this look and you want a more bloodier look go get you some white blood so now i'm going around the edges where i put my fake blood shadows uh i shadow at with some black black from my juvia's palette and i'm just building in making it look cut giving it like a cut look where you can see where the dirt hit and hit with the see where the dirt hit where the blood is supposed to be basically what I'm trying to say Right here, I decided to pull out some old makeup. Yes, I still have some old makeup in my house. I'm using my Smashbox Lily Seam Boss Lipstick that she did with my uh, Smashbox. I wanted to get a healing look also going on. So 